Hi everyone, welcome back to How We Homeschool. This is my K through 12 history shelf. And let me just start this video with, your shelf does not have to look exactly like mine. You can put together your own shelf as to what you want to teach your child or children. So I try to invest in non-consumable curriculum for all four core subjects and I reuse pretty much everything that I can for each child. We don't use uh, workbooks, we try to use a lot of reading books, things we can read and notebook our way through. So let's go ahead. So with history, this includes American history, world history, and Bible history. We have um, some geography down here that I will use when we do uh, geography. These are Abeka and Bob Jones. These are just uh, your normal textbooks. We don't read them as they are and answer questions or anything like that. We just read them as a source of information and, and we take from it what we need and we notebook our way through it when they get to those upper grade levels. These are the Tuttle Twin books. Um, some uh, World War books, and then the Uncle Eric series, and then we do do a lot of missionary books. These are the Veritas Press Pages of History. That's basically a world history reading, read aloud to the children, or they can read it themselves. And then we do use, uh, there's more missionaries. Also there's uh, a lot of the Who Was, What Was series. Um, another missionary, a Civil War book, and these two books, up, these four books up here for Bible history. And then we also have the uh, Big Book of History timeline. So we will read through this, look through it, and then we um, will put together our own notebook as the information that we find when we do our research. So the only thing missing from this shelf right now is um, the entire collection of the I Survived series. My daughter's actually into that right now and she has all the books on her desk right now. Um, she's reading them all during the summer. That's something that she chose to do. It wasn't an assignment. And I just wanna add that whenever a child uh, chooses to want to read or learn about something, we don't always need to turn that into some type of formal teaching moment or we need you don't need to get uh, workbooks to now surround that um, interest that they had because they wanted to learn that which means they're probably going to learn more about it and retain more of it than you could actually ever teach them so when they show a huge interest in something like that I say leave them be <laughs> and let them enjoy it because they're going to it's going to stay with them much longer okay the other history that we have the other two books we have are down here in her box she'll be starting these this year and it's gonna be um, this child's first book of American history we're gonna read our way through that and notebook it and uh, what else? I think that's all she had. Oh, the Who Was series, History of the World. So for Bible history, my little one will go through um, what's in the Bible, the entire series. And for the younger grades, generally all of elementary, I really like to focus on um, Bible history rather than American and world history because they have plenty of time to uh, read about that and retain that knowledge later. I really want to cement that firm foundation in biblical history for them. And we have all of uh, these DVDs as well, the missionary DVDs for history. 
We have uh, for the older ones Monumental, which is a good uh, history DVD. Liberty Kids, which they really enjoy. And then we have um, Learn Our History from the Mike Huckabee series. And we have um, a lot more of these up in the cabinet. I think we have all of the Learn Our History DVDs. More missionaries. So as you can see, I try to stay away from textbooks as much as possible. And we just do a lot of reading and what I don't have, we rent from the library or I will purchase. I hope this was an encouragement to you to build your K through 12 of non-consumable um, curriculum. And also, I just hope that this was an encouragement for those out there to know that you don't have to purchase brand new curriculum every single year that your child has school. It's just, it's just a silly thing that we do. I have no idea why this is the way it is, but it doesn't need to be. So that's it. K through 12 with some DVDs thrown in, a lot of reading, a lot of library, and a lot of fun. Okay, I'll see you next time for the K through 12 science shelf. Bye.